Chris with HobbyKing.com and we've got a new multi-start elite motor that we're going to show you today. Now this is a special motor, it's a 3508. You might have uh, uh, seen that we released the 2204 multi-star motor and we went ahead and touched a little bit on what makes the elite the elite as far as the multi-star lineup. So let's go ahead and pop this open and dive into this one and we'll go over this one as well. So I was mentioning it is a 3508. Now mo most multi-star uh, elite motors are built for a specific application. That allows us to have the best uh, mounting options, prop options, as well as efficiency versus grams uh, thrust for that particular motor. So uh, this one is designed for 8S, it's 268 kV. There's really not very many motors in this class that are available for eight, uh, high voltage, uh, whether it be six to eight volts. Now, uh, this was designed, like I was mentioning, for 8S and a 13 inch prop. That's where it's been optimized. Now you're gonna, you can go ahead and run this on 6S with a 14, 15 inch prop if you would like as well. Um, but uh, like I said, we've, we've geared it and engineered it right around that 13 inch prop. Now the 13 inch prop is perfect for your 650, 680 class uh, uh, multi-rotors, such as the, uh, the Terra Pros, the 680 UC Pro from Quantum, uh, some uh, uh, quads that are in that same uh, size range, and, and you're definitely gonna be able to jump into that. Now I know you're gonna be asking, why 8S? Um, well, of course the market has a bunch of motors that are designed for uh, uh, 4S and uh, 6S for that given class. Uh, nothing really for 8S, and there are some huge benefits we're going to go ahead and talk about when you jump up to that 8S. Main thing going to be flight time as well as overall design of your multi-rotor from the ground up. You've got to start a multi-rotor designed for HV from the ground up. So let's go ahead and talk about the Multistar Elite, uh, if you're not familiar with them. Multistar Elites have all the top tier components in it. This particular one, Ezio bearings from Japan, one of the best bearings that you can get. Uh, uh, the magnets, N45SH uh, magnets. Uh, the winds on this, 180 degree, uh, oxygen free. Um, and also the uh, lamination thickness, 0.2 millimeters. Also, uh, the balancing on this, 0 0.005 grams, one of the tightest tolerances available uh, or, or out there on the market for uh, RC motors. So as far as the quality of this motor, there's really nothing out there that can compare to it, uh, especially for the value and the price range that this particular motor is coming in. Now, when you open up the box, of course, it comes with mounting hardware as well as prop uh, mounting hardware. On the top, it has standard, uh, what we call direct bolt or Tomo style or T-style props, which is this style prop where it bolts straight down. It also comes with a prop adapter which has really nice uh, uh, knurling on it. Uh, get it separate right here, uh, which stops the props from slipping out on that. So it comes with a prop adapter as well as the thrust washer for this style of propeller. So you've got everything that you need with this particular motor when you open it up out of the box. And if you just look at the overall finish, fit and quality, balancing and the, and the components that are in this motor, like I was mentioning, it's, it's a great motor. So let's go ahead and jump into the science of the 8S and why this motor is set aside from our standard Multistar uh, as far as the wind uh, and this particular one. We did a lot of testing and tried to determine what is the best uh, prop, what is the best um, uh, efficiency for the wind, and, and we went through a lot of motors trying to get here. 268 seems to be the magic number on 8S in this class of uh, motor on a 13 inch prop. So let's go ahead and put that in real life uh, mathematics and go geeky on the board here and figure out what that's gonna do for us in supposed flight time. And we're gonna go ahead and send uh, and challenge the US to go ahead and put this to the test. So I've got a scale here. Let's go ahead and make sure it's on and zeroed out. I've got me here a Terra Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up and this is designed right at uh, for 13 inch props. Get that to balance out. I'm gonna go ahead and chuck me a gimbal up there and I'm gonna throw me a battery on there. And we are coming right at uh, 2.5 kilograms on this particular one. And if we go ahead and throw us some bigger batteries on there, these are 6600s and this is set up for 8S right here. So it's two packs. Uh, this is gonna be pushing right about three kilograms. 3.1. Now, depending on your multi-rotor, which one you use, such as the Quantum 680 UC Pro, which is a lighter uh, frame, all carbon, uh, it's definitely a little bit lighter. And depending on your setup, uh, you're going to be able to achieve um, something all up weight in the 2.7 kilogram uh, range. But for uh, uh, reference, we're just going to go on the high end and we're going to go three kilograms. And that's going to be a 680 UC with full retracts, full batteries, gimbal underneath it, uh, all up weight. You know, so this is... This is grossed out, maxed out. Uh, we're gonna be right up in the air, right around three kilograms. And there's lots of information on the web on all up weight on, on different multi-rotors. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the high voltage setup and how you're able to save a little bit of weight. I'm gonna go ahead and set these down. 
So uh, mainly it's going to be amp draw. At 8S, amperage is much lower, which means you're going to be able to uh, run much thinner uh, cabling, smaller connectors. Instead of XT90s, you're going to be able to run XT60s. So weight is one beneficiary. The other is the batteries themselves, such as these uh, multi-stars. These particular multi-stars are rated at 10C, and at the, the higher voltage, the lower amperage, you're well within the range of the output amps of a lower C rating. Even at 10C, these are ridiculously over C rated for this particular motor, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. So let me slide this over. We're gonna grab some data for the board, and then we're gonna talk about what, uh, what we're able to do or uh, achieve with this particular setup. So give me one second to slide this over and plug it in. Now, uh, my particular power supply only goes up to 30 volts, and since 8 cell is 32, 33 volts right in there, what I've actually done is just grab two 60, uh, 600, four cells in line, and I'm just gonna plug those into my watt meter. And go ahead and get that powered up, slide that over, and we'll just zero this out. Now, based off of three kilograms, if we go to the board and we divide that by six, meaning each motor has got to be able to uh, deliver enough thrust to hover this uh, particular multi-rotor, we're going to need 500 grams per motor. So I'm going to bring this particular motor up to 500 grams and I'm going to record the amperage on it. Then we're going to go ahead and go max power just so we have that as well and have a uh, particular amperage at, uh, at this voltage. So these particular batteries right now are at 30.02 volts. Uh, so uh, about 90% charge on those particular batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this up. And let me re-zero this. So there we go. We've got our amp spec for this particular motor. Now this actually has better efficiency rating at a 3.5, but I've got a, uh, right now I've got a 5.5 prop on it right now. So we're getting 1.6 amps at 500 grams of thrust uh, for this particular multi-rotor. So if we do the quick math and we have uh, times this by six, let's go ahead and figure out what we're gonna take to hover. 9.6 amps. 9.6 amps at three kilograms, and this particular prop, which I was saying uh, the 3.8 is even better, it's 1.4 amps uh, tested on that particular one, which is even less. But we'll just use this as a, a worst case scenario. So 9.6 amps, uh, these particular batteries were 6600s, so if we go ahead and just divide that uh, amp draw into these batteries, we're gonna come up with a flight time rate around 30 minutes, 35 minutes or so on these particular batteries. But where the real magic comes in is this low amp draw. This low amp draw, like I was mentioning before, if you build a quad for high voltage uh, from the get-go, meaning uh, 16 gauge wire, XT60 connectors, uh, minimal power distribution board, you don't need these huge 300 amp capable uh, distribution boards in this higher voltage. The whole quad can be uh, designed uh, to, and make it uh, optimal in weight. You can bring it down to 2.5, 2.7 all up weight, absolutely no problem. And the other huge uh, benefit is because the battery uh, amp draw is so low, you're able to even go lower than the 10C rating on these particular multi-star batteries. Uh, introducing another uh, multi-star battery, which will be available soon. I call it the double down. Uh, double down meaning it's almost double the density of this particular given battery. Uh, this is 1200 milliamps, and you can take a look at its size in relationship. Now, the trade-off, of course, uh, when your density goes up uh, and uh, capacity is C rating. This particular battery only has a 2C discharge, which is extremely low, but at uh, 1200, uh, at 2C, that's still 24 amps. 24 amps is double what we're gonna take in a hover to fly this multi-rotor. At uh, 1200, if we do the math on that, uh, divide that into here, that's over, in theory, an hour flight time using this particular type of battery. Using these batteries, they're gonna provide uh, almost uh, uh, 35 minutes of flight time. And the best thing at this low amps, uh, no heat in these motors. They're going to be cool as a cucumber. Um, 
everything is just going to be lighter, uh, a lot more efficient uh, in that range, and uh, and you're able to uh, stack some different uh, batteries. And, and, and of course, you don't need to use these larger batteries if you only need to fly 25 minutes or so. You can run the 5400 uh, multi-stars and even make it lighter, uh, which will, of course, increase uh, flight time just due to the, uh, the lower efficiency. But this particular one with the, uh, the 1338 uh, prop on it, where it's only 1.4 amps, uh, and this style battery that's going to be available soon, uh, you're going to be able to achieve uh, hour 10 minutes, hour 15 minutes, and that is where the challenge is going to be coming to the U.S. I've actually got right over here a uh, 680UC carbon. Uh, it's set up with these Multistar uh, 268s, and we're going to be sending this over to Matt in the U.S. and challenging him with these batteries to put this multi-rotor in a hover, uh, put it in loiter, and have it hover for about one hour, or actually uh, over an hour, and we'll see how long we can get it to fly. That could be the difference between you getting the shot or not if you're using it for aerial photography work. You can put it up in the air, uh, get all the shots you want, come back to the ground, and uh, go ahead and do all your editing, and you're definitely going to get what you need using that. Versus some of these other uh, quads, uh, you know, where the tear out is uh, just set up with 4S and able to fly, you know, 15, uh, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how your efficient your, your uh, setup is. With this style motor, you're going to be able to easily get 30 minutes. Uh, and with this style battery, where you're able to get into this uh, amp draw range due to the higher voltage, extremely long flight times. We're talking uh, 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 record breaker type of flight times using this style battery and this style motor. Guys, this is the new Multistar Elite 268. It's not for everybody. This is definitely a purpose-built motor, but it's definitely geared towards those uh, crowds and those people that are looking for the best and using it for, I wouldn't say commercial applications, but definitely looking to use this for more than just hobbyists. Anyway, guys, check it out. It's up on the new items page. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you guys next time.